What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert, and you're watching the Biker Bar Podcast. Paul the Puncher said, have either of you tried keeping a diary of your food and exercise? A lot of people find this useful to write things down. Is that something that you do? Like, um, I, I'll let you answer. Go ahead, and, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> yeah, the, the app that I've tracked my weight on is like MyFitnessPal, which some people mentioned, mm -hmm. a lot of people have heard of. And you can track your weight, your food intake. You can like scan barcodes and see how many calories mm -hmm. you're consuming, as well as like exercise. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that has worked a lot um, to track just how much I'm consuming. Mm -hmm. um, but I've gotten to the point where I know like I, I know if I'm eating an excess of calories or if yeah. I'm coming in under calories. Yeah. And for me, that's not the biggest motivator. For me, it is that all in. If I'm all yeah. in, I don't yeah. have to sweat the details because I know I'm all in and I'm not yeah. going to eat that cookie. And I'm not going to look at, and here's the biggest thing. And this is like who I am. Uh, I went and did a 2,400 foot elevation ride. I probably burnt a thousand calories, you know, right. it's probably more than a thousand calories. Yeah. If I want to lose two pounds a week, I need to eat 1600 calories okay so does that mean i get 2600 calories today yes do i need to replenish my body yes but if i come to the end of the day and i've only eaten 2000 i'm not gonna go eat 600 calories yeah. of ice cream for me that yeah. doesn't work like yeah, yeah i would need no. to continue eating healthy food so all have to say yes super helpful tool that helped me learn how much calories actually are that i'm consuming yeah. i know like I know a piece of bread is 110 calories. I know yeah. a banana is about 70 calories because yeah. I've done that for so long that I can calculate it in my head because yeah. I'm good at math and stuff. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. You and I are so much alike, man. Because honestly, yeah. like, and and this is the first thing I want to say before I get into what I eat or how I do it is do what works for you. Yeah. Like there is a boatload of different eating plans, diets, whatever you want to call them life changes I don't know. everybody has a different way that they like they like people like semantics right whatever you want to call it that makes you feel good call it that also whichever one of those things works for you do that like if yeah. you want to be a vegan go for it if you want to be a vegetarian yeah. go for it if you want to be an intermittent faster go for it if you want to do like whatever it is if that's what keeps you motivated and that's what like works for you do that so what I'm going to talk about is like what I do, you know, yeah. and, and it may not be what works for you. You know, like some people love the idea of keto to me. I'm like, there's no way I like bread. I like beer. I'm not doing keto because it says <laughs> neither one of those, you know how much I love macaroni and cheese. No, <laughs> this is not happening. So anyways, so what I do is very similar to you. And the thing about the, the app is almost dead on with me as well. I am um, because I've done this uh, times in my life and other times where I was just being healthy. Like I know calorie count wise what I should be eating, just the same as you. Yeah. Um, like you said, a banana is 70 calories to me. Like every piece of fruit is a hundred calories. Yeah. Some of them are probably less. Some of them are probably more, but in my yeah. general scope of mind, I know that's about what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and at the, at the end of the day, like, I'm not really, I'm not like not eating certain foods. Like I just know how much of it I can eat. I mean, yes, I am not eating. I'm not eating cookies. I'm not eating ice cream. I'm not eating anything frozen, which I love everything frozen. Like, do they make anything frozen? That's not good. You know, like the yeah. frozen aisle of the grocery store is like the best aisle for me. A, you can be All completely lazy and it tastes great, you know? So Anyway, so like I, I'm, I'm just um. I don't remember where I was going with that, but anyways, so um, <laughs> oh, about different diets. Yeah, out, yeah, regardless. yeah, yeah. So I don't write the stuff down. I just, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just eating, eating right. You know what I mean? And I think that's the part that's going to be hard for me to like show on my channel. Like I've been really thinking about because this month I'm going to try to like make this month's vlog a little bit more about the food. Yeah, because a lot of people don't know how to eat right or like mm -hmm. like to me, I know I got to eat that stupid six grain bread that I freaking hate, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. but that's the right thing to eat because it'll satiate me and it'll actually, you know what I mean? Like it, it's stuff like that, you know, where it's like, yeah, I always think about um, I saw this interview with LL Cool J once and he, <laughs> like he's always been known, you know, like 
being in great shape and you know like all this the the 12 pack abs or whatever you know yeah. and he did on this interview he's like if you want a body like this everything you eat is going to taste like crap <laughs> <laughs> he's like but if this is what you want this is how you got to do it you know but yeah. um that's the truth so, so but on the other hand that, that's what i was trying to get at is like like the other night i had a cheeseburger you know i love cheeseburgers I'm still eating it with a bun on it. I yeah. still put mayonnaise on it. I just didn't eat two of them or three of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And instead of the tater tots that I love so oh God, I love tater tots. We <laughs> just have a whole episode about tater tots. Anyways, instead of the tater tots that I love, apparently they make these damn things out of broccoli and cauliflower now. And they almost taste exactly like tater tots. And I'm not telling you they taste like tater tots. Like, like a vegan tells you tofu tastes like hot dogs. Like yeah. they actually taste like tater tots. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm well, that, that, um, I'm <laughs> kind of mad you told me that because now I want to go get broccoli, cauliflower. No, I'm just kidding. That sounds terrible. Yeah, Robert, like I love tots. tots. I love tots. And we could make a whole show about tots, dude. Dude, one of the hardest things about eating <clears throat> right for me is like, I love eating chips with sandwiches. Like, 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 mm. I can't, like, like, I feel like, like sandwich bread should have chips stuck to it. Like, <laughs> like you should be able to make a sandwich and be like, Oh yeah, this is the barbecue sandwich. You know, it just had barbecue chips right in there. So, like it's like one bite of sandwich, three chips. And um, so when I'm eating healthy, there's no chips. Ah. There's no chips. So I don't know what to do there. I've just been eating sandwiches and like being angry at myself. Yeah, just eat like cucumber slices in between, just a bite you know, of celery. The first week of me changing my diet, that like joking aside, that was one of the things I did. I went because yeah. because that first week, man, it's like you get cravings all over the place. You're trying to break that habit of like, hey, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get up and eat whatever the hell I want, you know. Yeah. And and so I um, in my mind, with quote unquote dieting you can eat as many vegetables as you want. Like you can mm -hmm. eat vegetables until your freaking eyes turn green. You like, you're not yep. going to gain weight. So like I went out, I got like a couple head of, of uh, cauliflower and broccoli and some cucumbers and I just chopped them all up. And I had like these like three, one gallon bags in my fridge when it was like, every time I got hungry is like those. And then the little baby carrots. There and then go. I'd eat them with like either hummus or salsa, like the little baby carrots and salsa is like, oh, this is great it's with salsa. It's yeah. freaking tomatoes, right? You know, so <laughs> like it's not just tomatoes; it's freaking tomatoes, right? Yeah, Trust totally, by freaking tomatoes, freaking tomatoes, man. Those Italians know what they're doing, dude, and so do you, apparently <laughs> the Mexicans. <laughs> I was going to say, do you have Italian salsa? What in the world you are don't you even know about Italian salsa? It's called pizza <laughs> sauce, dude. <laughs> <laughs> If you like that, make sure you check out the full episode. And hey, do me a favor. Before you take off, hit the like and subscribe.